Hello everyone, you're welcome to Jam Vibes. Emerson Nangangwa one more time hits so hard as the president reiterates the call for a monocurrency as he fires the U.S. with some shocking news. Apparently, Zimbabwe is cancelling the U.S. dollars and as well South African runs all for Zim dollar. Before I give you more details, kindly do all to follow Jam Vibes please, like this video, drop a comment and above all, share this video with all of your friends, loved ones and family members. President Nangangwa has said the country will revert to the exclusive use of the local currency as the sole legal tender and ditch the multi-currency regime as no country can develop without its own currency. During his swearing-in ceremony for the second term, President Nangangwa said the country will continue to put in place measures to entrench the use of the domestic currency because having its own currency forms the basis for sustainable economic growth and development. The current arrangement, which allows the use of foreign currencies such as the US dollar and South African rand, is guaranteed until December 2025 under statutory instruments 118A of 2022. The SI is titled Presidential Powers, that is Temporary Measures, Amendments of Exchange Control Act Regulations 2022. The measures will run for the duration of the National Development Strategy 1, that is between 2021 to 2025. NDS 1 is the government's five-year strategic economic blueprint covering the period from 2021 to 2025. Addressing delegates to the 9th CEO Africa Roundtable Conference in Victoria Falls yesterday, President Nangangu said the country has to bite the bullet and have a single currency in use. President Nangangwa was responding to participants who inquired about the way forward in view of the projected expiry of the multi-currency regime in 2025. He chronicled developments that led to Zimbabwe adopting a basket of currencies in 2009. Nangangwa, in his exact words, explained, and I quote, in 2009, our domestic currency collapsed and our former president, Mugabe, appointed a committee of five people, which I chaired, to look into the currency issue. We agreed that, for us to survive, we had to create a basket of currencies and allow our currency to die. Right now, it could have been a wrong decision, but that is what happened in 2009. We allowed the basket of currencies and that saved the economy and we went in that situation for a long time. President Nangangwa as well spilled out the Second Republic realized that there is no country that can grow without its own currency. In his exact words, he spilled out and I quote, So, we decided to introduce our own currency, but still, our currency continues to be fought. However, we have to go through this cycle where as a country, we must have a currency which we call our own. President Nangangwa decided to as well dish out having multiple currencies in the economy is not sustainable. In his exact words, he as well said, and I quote, We must bite the bullet. Whether it gives us some suffering for a period, we shall proceed to have our own currency, not a situation where the economy has a regime of currencies in use. We want a single currency and we are going there. Recently, the Treasury assured the market of continued usage of the local currency and that deliberate steps are being taken to strengthen its value so as to restore consumer purchasing power and buttress the economy recovery momentum. Government has as well said it will not renege on its policy to mainstream the use of the local currency as this has yielded a positive impact on the overall economy. Presently, the country is so using a dual currency monetary regime, a situation that has also been blamed for the volatility of the domestic use unit due to the strong preference of US dollars, which now accounts for over 76% of transactions. A multi-currency regime is basically a situation where a country adopts other currencies in addition to its own. 
Right now, Zimbabwe is as well having in use the United States dollars, the South African rand, and local currency in its basket of currencies. Not to be forgotten is the fact that why the use of and trade in local currencies can strengthen a nation's economic autonomy and sovereignty. Relying on a foreign currency for local and national and as well as international transactions can so create vulnerabilities and limit the country's ability to pursue its economic policies independently. By utilizing local currencies, countries can assert greater control over their monetary policies, manage capital flows, and protect their economic interests. This enhanced autonomy enables nations to respond effectively to economic challenges and tailor their policies to specific domestic needs, fostering sustainable development and inclusive growth. During the recently held Zimbabwe Economic Development Conference, that is the ZCON, stakeholders requested that government provides the market and the economy with a clear currency reform read map as the financial sector is now hesitant to extend long-term foreign currency loans as the 2025 deadline gets closer. Without necessarily judging, I want you all to tell me in the comment section what you genuinely think about all of this. I love you all so dearly and do all to take good care of yourselves too, please.